Hello, how are you? <clears throat> Alright, today I'm going to try something new. Better turn off this bloody radio with these ads on. Heck off. Couple of them are Right, yeah, so I'm trying something new here today. I thought I'd just do an audio, purity audio. Just come out, get off this scary road. I'm not sure where or how good I mean I'm recording with the microphone. This is my first time doing this, so you know we're learning. There'll be a lot of mistakes. But when I do see people doing this talking to their phone, they, they usually have a, the phone up at their mouth like they're about to uh, eat it. That's where I have the phone. So yeah. This is a change. It's going to be all dark. But I, I'm, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I should be able to do descriptive. I should be able to give des des descriptions of what I'm seeing. And give you some sort of visual display. I don't need the actual camera filming. Yeah. I'm coming down here. The lady stairs. It's coming into the sea. It's jutting out out there. Like an island. A semi island with Wil Winkle Island. Winkle Island, that is. It has a sort of like a skull like shape. It's dusk. It's a nice warm. January day, high pressure zone in from the Azores of the Mediterranean. That's going to be settled for the week, so it's just a really calm. I'm going to be careful. Going along here, these rocks are very slippy. There's slime over the rocks this time of year. So that's just constantly there. I don't know what it is. Uh, it comes from the sea or seaweed or what. But it makes this, it makes these rocks like ice this will be cumbersome and slow like I said I'm learning could have the microphone in the totally wrong place and this just comes out a total mess can't hear anything I do hope you can hear the ocean the sea I really do love it down here See, I just love, I don't know how people don't live beside the sea. I just love, the, I love the connection with the whole world. I love the fact that I'm connected with the whole world here. Like things from all over the world get washed up here. Unfortunately, it's usually rubbish and plastic bottles, but still, that sense of connection with the whole world and all the possibilities that can come in here. Anything can wash up here. So, so I'll give a brief update of what's going on in Kev World. Kev World. How's my new diet going? How I've been? Well, first, let me just say, the last few weeks I've been sick. Came down with something bacterial respiratory infection, probably strep throat. The thing with bacterial infections is they, they can be quite long to get rid of. They're not like viral infections which are limited. Unless of course you take antibiotics, in which case the uh, bacterial infection is very quick to get rid of. Uh, I'm not taking them. I've, I've never take antibiotics. Never. You, 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 you tough man, tough, tough man, be it yourself or you just die. That's the way it is, that's nature. I'm just saying that though, if I did end up in hospital, if I did end up in hospital, yeah, I would take the, the antibiotics, but not an idiot. Right, so that's developed, uh, I'm fairly sure I had meningitis on Saturday. Look, you have meningitis in hospital, 
I saw, people get these things a lot more than what is actually clinically recorded. A lot more, these conditions. Losing cancer and stuff like that, like the immune system just fights it off itself. That's why when you do, uh, they bring in pre-screening for cancers. It skews the cancer figures completely. Like it, it suddenly looks like, oh my god, uh, the cancer figures are going like tempo. No, no, you, you're, you're just catching benign things that don't need to be treated. Now you're putting people under stress. And you could be causing more damage than you than, than good. Because, you know, chemotherapy is incredibly stressful on, on the body. Oh, so yeah, end up just taking, you know, six years off someone's life or something. Or something that wasn't a problem. The same with these other conditions. Like, unless you present the hospital, it's not going to get clinically recorded. So, don't, although it probably is, it is, it is, it is, I'll admit, like, likely, or 50% likely, I'm, I'm overreacting that maybe I just had a headache. It definitely felt like my membranes, it definitely felt like someone's pulling up in the back of my head. Let's clear it up. Then things developed. I thought I'd gotten rid of the infection, then, then, then things developed again. Then I started thinking I had cancer. Uh, I thought, and then with the meningitis, I also thought it might be brain cancer. And also, I started thinking I had skin cancer. So, uh, maybe, maybe the people who come into my page and leave that one and only comment, same comment over the over again, the NPC comment. You, you, you're, you're not right in the head. Uh, maybe you're right after all. Maybe I'm crazy. My hypochondria is back. I know. I think I've cleared up the the throat cancer. So my immune system is back. That I now have immunity. I now have immunity from that disease. The rest of my life. So that's 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 positive. That's very positive. It's good to get these things over and done with. It's like the chicken pox. You want to get them while you're strong. I don't scare that heron. I just hate when I scare birds off. I hate when I feel like I'm a burden down here. Like, it's like they're looking at me like, you don't belong here. I know humans are affecting disease on this planet. The cancer is growth. I am not part of them. I'll squeal. These alarm bells that go off. <coughs> Right. Right, I think I'm in the clear. Yeah. Audio only how's it going? Total improv, total improv here. Back in good health. The diet, the diet. I'm on the what diet am I on this week? This week I'm mostly eating fingers, nails. No, I'm not on, not on some extreme diet. I'm not on some label. I don't need some label. That's NPC binary thinking about all oh, on this side, this side, right? The, the world isn't like that at all. There's no such thing as that side over there. I mean, if humans, if humans always have to do this disagreement thing as a species I really think we are you know like when uh, I was looking at a murmuration of, of starlings there the other day like do you, you, do you think the starlings are all just like you know shouting at each other on different sides oh, go this way go this way go over that way go oh, no go over here go this way no no you think they're just constantly disagreeing with each other no no there's no animal on the planet that has this constant the base sort of thing going oh don't do this do this oh don't do that oh don't do this side right that side you know this side of the fence right that side of the fence wrong pick a side pick a side no that's that's NPC binary thinking be on the fence be with me hop over the fence when the sheep on on on, on in that pen are right Hop over the fence and get in with them. When the sheep are on the other side of the right, hop over the fence and get in there with those sheep. Meanwhile, you're hopping over from each fence. You're the wolf. You're the wolf. You're, you're strategically thinking, using critical analysis 
you're thinking for yourself, you're not just sheepishly going on, oh, this, 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 oh, this is my side, we're, we're right, and I feel safe for my people. I always avoid that. I avoid it with diet as well. Don't need to have that. Babby. Me, Babby, me, Babby, you want to be with my people. Thing going on. I don't know why you must have that. It's really stupid. Don't need the label. Yeah, the perfect diet is probably your species specific diet that you ones are on. And we are still in the jungle. But those days are gone. So, my diet. Nothing extreme. Cut down on the meat. Keeping it simple. Yeah, peasant food, you could say. I'm on the peasant diet. I'm on the peasant diet of food. I don't want to be a king. You want to, you want to, you want to look up. You want to look up. Who had all the health problems historically? It was, the, it was the royalty. It was, it was the upper classes. Everyone's getting things like gout. I want to hear from gout, like awful affliction, absolutely awful affliction. Like the, the person with it, in so much pain at night time, especially. Like they just be waking up screaming. Like people are lucky today; they have the medication. Oh, these rocks are really slippy here. How are we gonna do this? Yeah, lucky you have the medication. The pain was driving people mad. Like it really, really. From what I've, from what I've heard, the accounts I've read about. And I don't want to have all these afflictions just so I can say I'm affluent, which is literally, literally what the upper classes would do. They, they would literally take on these terrible diets, knowing, knowing, but they do it anyway because they want to be like, oh, I'm the rich person. Yeah, oh, I've got my status. I'm destroying my health, but I'm, I'm, I'm above everybody. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> like, that's, like, what is wrong with people? Why would you do that? I'm conflict. I'm committing self harm. But, 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 but I'm 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 I've got upper status above you. You, I'm a better person. Yeah, I'm healthier than you and ha happier than you. Now I'm in chronic pain. I don't wake up screaming in the night because of my gout. You know, I have a bunch of other afflictions. So, simple diet. Starch base. Starch and sugar. Starch and sugar mainly. A little bit of meat. Not much. Rarely beef. I actually haven't eaten any beef so far this year. We're all a month into the year. I'm a tiny bit of meat. But yesterday I cooked up a load of potatoes. They're ready for tonight. I'm gonna have a little bit of pheasant. A bit of pheasant, pheasant fillet breast. But mainly it's gonna be potatoes. Today earlier on it was all sugar, chocolate bars, or candy if you're an American. That's what they call it. a bit of ice cream. Ice cream. Scream. Sorry, but this is not as difficult as the bike. Concentration-wise, but I cannot make a mistake here. I'm actually, when I get to the really sticky rock, I'll probably have to stop the recording. Oh no! Oh no! But then I can start up again. And you won't even know this because it's on audio. One of the many advantages of doing it as an audio. Coming into a little bay here. A little bay, just gone past dusk. The last lingers of the light, the day is clinging to its end. There's a little river in a small bay. And over there someone's made an illegal little building, a little hut like. Uh, what would you call it? Balcony. To look out over the sea. The little river comes down before. And then after that we get to the hard rocks. The hard, slippy rocks. I don't have to worry the audio. I don't have to worry about the light. I don't have to worry about my appearance. Just turn it on and go. I don't get, get home and like turn it on. Oh, 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 the lights all wrong. I look like a dark night type person. And I have to just dump it. Oh, that was a waste of time. 
Bismillah. You have to use your imagination. Don't have to do any rendering. God, that's annoying. I'm just stick it in and go. Here we come to this little river I was talking about, little stream, little brook. I hope this microphone is good. I hope this doesn't come out with all this like... We need to do a lower, high pass, low pass stuff to get it right. What else? going on. What else do I want to talk about? Yeah. I'm happy with the diet. I'm happy I've switched. Mainly I've reduced the amount of meat I'm eating. Uh, compared to I do hope there's going to be some gen generational changes. I'm not hopeful. I just said I am hopeful. I'm deep down I'm very bleak about it. But I move towards less meat eating in general for my generation. Unlike my parents' generation. Yesterday they had how do people afford it? How do people afford me? Oh my god. The price of it these days has gone insane. They had a, a kilo. A kilo of beef, right? And there was the good it was the good beef. Like good sterling. Sarah line, Sarah line, whatever. Cut of beef. Oh, I'm on these crappy rocks now. <coughs> this is going to be. This is going to be. It. Should I just wing it? Should I just wing it and go for it? I'm afraid I might drop the phone or I'll slip and smash my head. Which I'm going to just turn off. Yeah. You're just, just silly. That's just a lot less data. When you're doing an audio recording, so I don't really need to worry about it. 17 minutes, Christ! Okay, we're back a minute later. It's not too bad today. Sometimes I can take a good three, four minutes to get across. I might have to turn it off again soon enough. I turned out a composite. It's great. I want to use two different foils and then Rend them together, open them up, and then pull in that one, pull in that one, and that one, and then it's just all error, um, error from mistakes, blah, 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 blah. I'm there all day. There all day. Here all day. So, I have to be careful here. I don't want this to be using for you, this recording to be using in an inquest. How I died. That would be really embarrassing. It would be like, what a fucking idiot. Gobshite. It's one of the reasons I started when I hit my head on the bike I started wearing my, my helmet. The last thing I wanted was to people turning up at my funeral, whispering to each other in the aisle. You know, fucking easy. Back in uh, Fuck you. Right. So, through the treacherous air, but we've got another one coming up. Oh yeah, I was talking about my parents, the price of meat these days, especially beef and lamb. So I remember I did the paleo diet years back, years back, man, right? 2008 I did it, that's when I lost all the weight. Bought whole plates of lamb. Whole bag, like New Zealand lamb. I think it was hogget, I don't think it was lamb. It was too mature to be lamb, too big. It was hogget. God, it was lovely. It's like a whole bag of it would be like a little, a little, like three euro maybe. And like I'm talking six or seven chops, like proper big chops. These days, for a small little cut. Holy crikey, the price! But yeah, my parents had a cut of lamb, good lamb, kilo, 
<coughs> not now, sorry, stay, <coughs> stay. <coughs> still, <coughs> still can recover when it's cold. <coughs> Strap throat. Ah. God damn it. Well, I beat the cancer. I got rid of the cancer. So I have immunity from that. It's good. Oh, here we go again. These rocks. Ah, Beck it anyway. I can pause. I can pause. And then just start recording again. And you won't even notice. You won't even notice. You'll be so ignorant. Is that the right word? You'll be totally something. What's that word I'm looking for? You'll be a sucker. That's what I'm trying to say. You'll be a sucker. Oblivious. That's the word I was looking for. Oblivious. Do you even notice the pause? And we're back. Just coming out of all the big, hard, jagged rocks. They're all shaped northwards. Do you see the tidal drift or just the type of rock they are? They came down here. Geological formation. No, I imagine it is the, the wear of the tide. It's going that way, shaping it. Or maybe not. Okay. What am I talking about? Well, from here on in, I'll just come out of it. So, yeah, we need a soft shingle up to the slanty rock. Ooh. Fuck. It's like uh, someone's pointy hair. It could be a really good spot to put in some. The fences. We are just coming out of it now. And then I can start concentrating again. Maybe I should have waited until I got fully out. Go here, take this part. And we're there. Right. Fun. Where are we? It's my first time doing this. You know me. I like to try new things. I like to stick at things. I like. What do you mean I like to stick at things? I don't like to stick at things. I like to try new things. I know you need a bit of repetition to sort of get the audience in. People don't like constantly new things, constantly rewiring with the brain unless they're open. They're very open to those ideas. Good, strong constitution. They're not going to get triggered easily by something they disagree with. It's going to be, oh, you said something that made you feel bad. Oh, subscribe, oh, subscribe, oh, subscribe. <laughs> That's the way a lot of people are. They just want to be made feel good or safe or whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Let's get back to, to the bait. To the bait. Me. Versus starch based diet. Sugar and starch. So you're eating all meat diet. <coughs> yes. I think some of the diets people are promoting on YouTube are crazy. Crazy things. Crazy stuff. On both sides. On both sides. On, on the vegan side. Those on these 50 50 places eating a lot of, eating a lot of rabbit food. Don't last long doing that. And then on the other side, just eating meat. Meat, 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 meat. Like, oh, vegetables, bad thing. If they don't, no alkalis in the diet at all, that's, that's gonna get some trouble. Unless you add milk. It's one, one channel I think in particular, it's all this raw food. And it's like trying to keep it natural. I don't understand like cooking food is unnatural, but the diet he comes to the conclusion that it's all meat. But in order to make it healthy with the meat, because he, he seems to know a bit about the topic, he's added milk. Uh, how, how is drinking milk natural? I mean, you think people were going over and sucking the buffalo's tits out in the wild? You don't think you're out there? I'll <laughs> go over that rhino and try and drink that milk. I tell you, it wasn't last time doing that. No sorry, no sorry. Gonna go kick in the face doing that now. 
gonna go kick in the place, going over to the buffalo and trying to suck on the tip like that. So, this has been a total ramble stream of constants. Let's get back to my parents and the beef. 30 pounds of beef. They just, they just feel they have to, they just feel they have to display this affluence. They need, they need, they got the money. They got the money, they got the money, you get the money. Once you have the money, you gotta spend it. So many people that get, that get into that trap. And I mentioned our generation, my generation coming up, eh, eh, Generation X. Generation X slash Millennium, some sort of in between the two. Hopefully, hopefully there will be some sort of changes. I mean changing the centre ground, I mean Joe Normie, I mean big popular changes. I'm not really seeing it. I mean from the vegan community they're just promoting all this plant based stuff. But plant based I mean meat substitutes. Carrot protein crap. I mean <laughs> I mean the one commentator in particular, George Mombiot, or whatever it's Mombier. Obsessed with protein. Session with protein, protein talks about nutrients deficient, nutrient deficient diets. Oh, people are eating too many carbs, but they need to get protein. So, we're all going to be on this protein plant stuff, protein extracts from carrots. Total waste, total waste of land, total waste of energy. The protein, a lot of it isn't even bioavailable for you. <coughs> you don't need it. You don't need it. What do you need it for? What, 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 what? How do people get that in their head? How, how did that get in there? That, that must be marketing. But how, how did that get in there? How, how, did the, how did it get in there? Protein, good thing. Sugar, bad thing. Fat, bad thing. The protein, real good nutrient thing that makes you live forever. What, 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 what's the thing that's happening with the protein? Like you're already fully developed. No. I'm in the middle age pretty much now at this stage. What do I think I'm going to be growing? Do you think your muscles just decay away? Do you think you put, you, put, you put the steak in the fridge and you come back the next day and it's gone, just withered away? You need to keep adding protein to it? You know, the 30 pound worth of beef that my parents bought, do you think that they, uh, you think they're freezing it because they're worried it's, going <laughs> it's just going to wither away? Yeah, it will over time. That's from bacteria. It's bacteria, bacteria gets into it. Do you think bacteria in your body just goes in? In your body's just like, it's just, your body's just sitting there, the muscles sitting there. Uh, who, who are you? Uh, I'm bacteria, I'm here to eat you. Uh, okay, I'll just let you eat me then. No, it doesn't work like that. Everything's perfectly preserved in the body. You know, I've had a bacterial infection. Felt like shit. Body's doing everything I can to get rid of it. Even though there's more bacteria in me, and my own cells, they're not doing any damage. The bad bacteria comes along, that's doing damage to my immune system. Get rid of it. Your muscles don't just, they don't need to inject. When my parents get their 30 pounds of beef, they don't need to inject the constantly with protein in order to preserve it. They're not freezing it to preserve it well, in the sense they are, but they're, why are they freezing it? Why do they buy it and then freeze it? Good piece of meat, like the good piece, like 30 euro for a kilo. <clears throat> We're just past the slanty rock now. And this 30 euro, they cooked it up for them. Mom, Dad, Christine, and Ella. She's five, she doesn't need much. And uh, Liam, I think he gets the last cut. He turns it over to him. It's, it's totally gone, it's gone already, there's nothing left. I looked at, I looked at the price yesterday, I looked at it, it was defrosting, and now it's gone. Totally gone. 30 euro. So, let's spin this up. 30 euro eaten in one day. One fucking day. 30 euro. A kilo of beef. A kilo. A kilo. A kilo of beef. Gone in a day. You just imagine this slopping on. Me? You know, I know. I, as I said, I'm still eating the meat. I want a sustainable diet. I, I want something that's also to be promoted for the general masses. I also want to promote it because it's healthy. It's healthier. Healthier. I feel better. I generally feel better. 
Well, someone will come in here. Oh, you're sick. That's being caused by your. <laughs> that's being caused by your diet. No, no, that's a bad look. But yeah, they got the money. They're from that generation. They're from the generation, the baby boomers. The baby boomers are allowed themselves to take on a huge amount. And this is where I really was building to for the last 30 minutes or so. <laughs> so I don't have to start with it. it, it this, this is the lesson. This is the lesson to learn today. They took, they took on a huge amount. A huge amount of responsibilities. Huge amount of pressure. And a huge amount of ownership. Ownership and materialism. They were pushed into that position. They were pushed into that position. They were made. They come from a generation where you didn't have much. They grew up in poverty. I know what my family did here. Ireland. 1950s, 1960s. That sort of period. Ireland. Very poor. Very large families. They didn't have anything. They didn't have anything. And as they were growing up, they wanted it. They wanted it more and more and more and more. And it was sort of the deal that the market made with them. Rather than the market turning around and saying, how about with productivity going up, you work less and have more leisure time. Instead, capitalism wanted as much out of them as possible. They wanted everything out of them. They wanted all their blood. They wanted as much as grow, 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 forever. So they allowed themselves to take on all these burdens. And with that, they're working long hours. And then they need to justify it. They need to justify the long hours. If you're working those long hours, you want to justify it. You want to feel like it's worth it. You want to feel like it's going somewhere. So they started being able to get the things that they didn't always have. And my parents' case, the meat. You know, the idea of eating 30 pounds of beef in a day. It's just crazy. Beef doesn't be something you have on Christmas. Christmas Day, that once a year maybe. A huge, a huge leisure. And that's the way I treat it again. That's the way to enjoy it. If you treat it like that, it's more enjoyable. They got all those things, eventually they got all those things, they passed on to us. And our generation, we've had it. We didn't have to go without really that much. Not, well, a little bit in the 90s, growing up. But yeah, like we, we would go, we'd get a lump of uh, ice cream, and we'd cut it down, cut it down in, in these wafers. <laughs> communion wafers, like communion wafers, very weird. We would be in like communion wafers, and it would get thinner and thinner as the week goes on, this lump of ice cream. But man, we loved it. We appreciated it. It was, it was a luxury. It was a real luxury. Or like Vanetta. Vanetta ice cream. Like I could eat Vanetta now every day. <laughs> but back then, we, we just threw it as like something you had on Christmas or on your birthday. And that way you really enjoyed it. I think as we got more and more affluent then. And we learned, and we eventually got to the point where we could just have these things. Realize in order to enjoy them, we sort of need to turn it back on them, live with it. That's it. That's the message. Simplify your life. Simplify your desires. Simplify, simplify your material wealth. The things you own, things you have. That way you'll appreciate things a lot more. What you do have will mean more to you. Once you have something, you have it, and then it's sort of like, ugh. And often, the way capitalism has sold itself to, to my parents' generation, sold them things they didn't even want. They sold them things that didn't make them happy. You know, get the Beamer, get the sort of car, get the richer car. The last thing you should be doing is driving the car. You should be walking to the shop. Walking should be something you do every day. You should not be taking that away from you. It doesn't even make people happy driving. Sold them with something, sold them with some freedom, sold them with some great thing. You're gonna be out and about. Get the news, Saya Kakuka. You'll be making the right decision. Going off into the countryside. Where you'll be free from all the chores of life. You'll never go wrong with this choice. Blah 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 blah. You don't need it. That's the day. Parents got the parents are still sort of stuck in that. We've got to pay for it. We got to. Actually, I don't really know. I, I don't. I don't know why. I don't actually know. I don't actually know why someone needs to come eat thirty euro worth of meat in a day. I really don't. I'm gonna just 
cut to the end here. And you come up to the steps onto the green. And these two little doggies here and their owner looking at me. That time bizarre. Hey dog. Woof woof. Hey dog. Use your imagination for all of this. Oh, the steps, rocking that ball. Du -du 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 -du. It's almost completely dark. Du -du 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 Stop. Do the copyright. This is really a strange one. Do you know me? I like to try new things. Let's just end it. And the way to run. Is anybody still listening? Oh. Simplify. I've already sent the message. Honestly, the only reason I'm still recording is because I don't want to stop. I'm getting cold. My hands especially are cold. I want to get indoors. I'm almost home now. The whole journey back. I took a picture at the start. Which you're already seeing and been looking at, still here, you've been looking at for over 30 minutes. Just to add, just to give you, use your imagination of what the journey is into that picture. There's also the current story I'm written on, working on at the moment, from my audiobook, the old photograph. This is set around here, which you can't see. That's a photograph, Robo, and his best friend. But yeah. Pretty. I know I'm going on the bed a lot, but God, I don't worry. I mean, I would have gotten... I could have gotten two weeks with people like that. I could have gotten two weeks, it wouldn't be proper, I wouldn't be sauces with it, I wouldn't be... They just slapping in the oven. Frozen meat. Frozen meat was first rounded. Then they throw in the oven. Over 200 degrees. But they cook it as fast as they can. And then they just eat it with potatoes. The day and this is and this is gone. Here, here, stop this. Jesus, that took 40 minutes. Oh, so, thanks for listening. <clears throat> That's today's video. That was a total ramble. And there's a murmuration of starlings. We're all disagreeing with each other. Go this way, go that way, go. <laughs> no. Just us. Alright, see ya. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.